The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battle. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal faults, unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood, stop up the access and the passage to remorse, that no compunctious visitings of nature should shake my fell purpose nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers, <coughs> wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. Come, thick night, and pall thee in the dunnest smoke <coughs> of hell, that my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry, hold, hold. <coughs> Great gloves, <coughs> worthy called on, greater than both by the old hail hereafter. <coughs> Thy letters have transported me beyond this ignorant <coughs> present. And I feel now the future in the instant my dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes hence? Tomorrow, as he purposes. Oh. <coughs> Never <coughs> shall sun that morrow see. Your face, my thane, is as a book where men may read strange matters. To beguile the time, look like the time. Fair welcome in your eye, your hand, your tongue. Look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. He that's coming must be provided for. And you shall put this night's great business into my dispatch, which shall to all our nights and days to come give solely sovereign sway and masterdom. We will speak further. Only look up clear. To alter favor ever is to fear. Leave all the rest to me. <laughs> <laughs> 